Hello, Pulpo Queens. I'm Bill Torgerson, author of Love on the Big Screen. Uh, it is a Pulpwood Queen May bonus book club selection, so thank you very much to Kathy Patrick for that, and also thank you for the invitation down to Jefferson, Texas, where I got to take part in Girlfriend Weekend. Those of you who are there may not um, recognize me because I don't have my clown hat on, uh, I don't have my redneck wig, and my face isn't behind uh, a camera. Uh, I was working on, I am working on, and it's near finished, uh, a documentary film about the Pulpwood Queens uh, called For the Love of Books. And despite my shoddy camera work, I think it's going to be pretty enjoyable for many of you to watch, mostly because of your amazing con, uh, your amazing costumes and your passion for literacy and also the great content from the authors. It was hilarious and smart and I would uh, laugh and feel like crying all within the space of an hour. So Love on the Big Screen tells the story of a college freshman whose understanding of love has been shaped by late 80s romantic comedies. Um, it's set in 1990 and so my protagonist, Zook, um, he's seen movies like Say Anything, Sixteen Candles, or When Harry Met Sally and if you think through those movies they often end with a kiss at the end and so um, Zook sort of sees his life that's about as complexly as he thinks about relationships, loving a girl, pursuing her, kissing her. And so if you've been uh, married for 5 or 10 or 40 years, you probably know that there's quite a bit else that happens uh, after the kiss. The book sort of, it draws on a lot of uh, my own experiences as well. Um, I think Zook learns in a year, but probably took me more like 30. For example, when I was a third grader, I remember uh, I moved to a new school, I had a crush on a girl. Um, I, of course, was, I was not the sort of person who would tell her that. She passes me the note eventually. So I get the note, the dream note that I would want. Um, will you be my girlfriend? Yes or no. But something about me couldn't check yes, and I was the kind of person who threw the note away. And so um, taking something like that as a, uh, as a third grader, and then moving into high school, um, being in college, being the kind of guy, my buddies and I, we started this club we called the brothers in pursuit, and we were in pursuit of God, women, knowledge, and compassion. Uh, we pledged allegiance to Cindy Lauper. We all had matching boxer shorts. We bought plastic helmets from Toys R Us. Um, and so those things made it into the book. Um, I am not Zook. I mean, just one of many examples is that uh, I became an English major um, because my dad kind of gave me a speech like the world needs ditch diggers too and you're gonna be one so I went to school very frightened that I was going to fluck out um, but Zook and so I became an English major because my parents taught English and they could help me um, but Zook he goes into class uh, the first day of college and he sees this girl Abby Grant and he thinks he loves her and he finds out she's an English major so he uh, declares his major English just for a shot um, to be, to be around her, and then uh, also from my own life. I got married uh, young, 26, 27, and I was divorced within uh, the span of three years. So I kind of try to think about um, my overly romanticized views of loves and the way that I thought about relationships and tried to sort of um, put together some events for Zook to kind of subvert the conventions of romantic comedy uh, and also have him uh, learn some things more quickly than I did. Uh, it's a conservative Christian school where Love on the Big Screen is set and so sometimes um, maybe we read the Bible, uh, we have a faith that we can read the holy book and think that it's pretty clear on how we should act but a lot of times it gets uh, much trickier and complex to try to uh, live according to our beliefs um, in our day-to-day -day lives. So the book kind of, those are some of the key themes. Um, Underneath, I'd love to interact with you all in any way, whether you send me questions and maybe I put together a sort of David Letterman viewer mail kind of uh, response. I have a website, thetorg.com, and there'll be some book questions uh, available right underneath this video. So any ways that you can think of interacting, uh, I'd love to hear from you. So uh, thanks again to the Pulpwood Queens for picking Love on the Big Screen. Uh, I've already made plans to be back in Jefferson, Texas next year, so I hope to hear from you and then see you uh, next year at Girlfriend Weekend. So take care and thanks for watching.